It's time for reinforcements. Prime, and welcome to me doing the reaction thing to Promise Neverland. Today is episode 8 of season 2, aka episode 20. And man, I can't believe I'm in a position where I'm saying what I'm going to say, where it's like the show is becoming extremely disappointing. And now, of course, I filmed this kind of in advance, so I really don't know if you, my audience, or peoples of the world, either agree with me or not, but I, I'm, I'm a back with this show because it's, it's becoming something I just don't enjoy. So I'll give out a few examples. Actually, I can't find my movie at the moment. It's probably somewhere below, but one of my favorite movies of all time is called 28 Days Later. It's pretty much like that one zombie movie that kind of redefined what zombie movies is about. But I love the fact that in that movie, um, because it's the post-apocalyptic world, you know, the world, humankind, everything is chaos and shit, you know. It's not all about death, per se, and it's not about how, you know, characters die. It's how they survive. It's how these characters, um, survive this ordeal, mentally, physically, emotionally. There's a lot of trauma. Uh, to be in that world where, like, your your whole world has collapsed, you know, um, your reality is something else, and and now, when I look at Promise Neverland, it's okay, cool, it's, it's a, you know, weird world with these children and whatnot, and how can these kids survive in, in a world where they're backed against the corner, and now it just becomes, uh, I guess my favorite word is to use pretentious. I might have to use a different word. You know, pompous, artificial will be like maybe a better word. Um, because you create this intense, dramatic world of children, really little, small children, and everything is just okay. Everything is going great. They don't even lose a toenail, you know, like, everything is great. Not one of the kids have died. None of the kids have been uh, infected, fever, uh, sick, anything like that. Everything is just fantastic. Yay! Great! Woo! And it's, it's like throwing me away from the immersion because the more you watch, you're like, well, fuck. Nothing bad is ever going to happen to these characters. And then uh, the, the artificialness, <laughs> the, the pretentiousness continues with Emma talking about like, oh, we can't kill the demons, you know? I don't want them to hurt. They're, they're our friends. Yeah. Okay. And they're talking about how they have to like maybe invade the headquarters and what. It's like, sh sh nah. I'm I'm a back, like I I'm 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 two steps back on the show, and it's like pushing me further away from the immersion, and that's just my two cents. It, you know, I'm just giving you my perspective and my point of view that the show could be better, and it's losing me. It sucks. <laughs> so let's see what happens in today's episode. I don't know. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna see this the other side finally of Norman. Mr. Ratri, your father. Peter Ratri. Wait. Wait. Interesting. So, are they suggesting that certain kids qualify? Well, that makes sense, right? 
Because, like, Isabella was... You know what I'm saying? Like, she was also awarded, like, um, some prestige. Why wouldn't... Okay, okay, I follow, I follow. I see what's going on. Wait, what? Okay. Who are you? I'm Vincent. Wow. So no one noticed those messages going back and forth? But please explain to me his sickness. What is that all about? I don't get that. How do they not notice? The f oh my god. <laughs> What? How do they even escape? How do they even escape? Stop! Are you God? Are you shitting me? Okay. Wow. They could have easily explained that episodes ago. Why? Huh. So just like that, huh? They go on this crazy ass uh, pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. It's so huge! Yeah, there's that weird thing again.
Sara. <clears throat> right, that amulet. Right. That's something that Magica gave her. Okay. See what I'm saying? It's like, oh, look at that. They're just... So lovely. They just... Running around, not bumping into anyone. Nothing dangerous. It's like everything is just so okay. Wow. So you got stuck by the tra I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, look, they're, uh... Wait, what? I, oh, what are the owls? The amulet tree gave her... All right, bro, you got, like, eight other eyes. Why is getting stabbed in one of them, like, enough? <sighs> Yo, she, she's the main character. See what I'm talking about? Like, no danger. You gonna you gonna make me believe she's gonna get eaten? Okay, right, right. Wait, what? Uh, Norman's blowing him up. Ooh, delicious. There's nothing to be sorry about. Oh my god. Feel sorry. Look, she's got a baby. Are you freaking nuts? I like the paper bag guy. He seems cool. How the fuck did they all get up there anyway? What was the whole point of that pose? What was it? I understand that it looks cool. But what was the point of just standing there? Do they have superpowers now? Like, I, did I miss something? Look, look. Feel sorry for them. Oh, look. 
Look, it's a little demon girl. Feel sorry. She's looking for her grandpa. Oh, oh, ab. The fuck demons now have human names? Wow. You got something sticking out of your head, girl. Oh. Why, why are you freaking out over blood now? Wait. What the fuck is going on? What in the world, man? What is going on? Are you really? Wait, really? Really? Alright. 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 Um. Yeah, it keeps getting worse and worse the inconsistency the rushed anime this is not good uh, the whole episode was all over the place like how the hell did Norman where did he get all those bombs and shit I guess they were there already I guess I guess he already had them prior to catching up with Emma I guess that would be the explanation to that. Um, like how the hell did they climb up there? And that little, well, what was the point of climbing up there? Do they all have superpowers? Because they didn't really explain that. I don't understand the whole coughing thing. I mean, they, they talked about something about Barbara having seizures and shit, right? I don't know what that means. Like, am I that dumb? Like, help me out, guys. I know I, I, I filmed in advance, so it's like, it's it sucks not having your uh, feedback to correct me on certain things, but I, I'm confusing that scenario. Now, the other part I did not like was when we got to see Norman's flashback of him being, you know, uh, in Lamb Buzz, whatever, Father Lead Tree, Red Tree, whatever the guy was. There was cameras on him. He was being watched and surveillance like 24-7. My dude was being spied on. And you're telling me that no one noticed Norman sending secret messages and creating bombs? How the hell did he have the technology to create bombs all over the place? Managed to stop a shitload of demons. Managed to escape. There's, there's so much, so much at play there. Like, how did that all work out so perfectly for him? And now if we, f <laughs> if we take steps back, you know, wait, let's roll it back a little bit. Remember season one? Remember Isabella? She didn't have any cameras. She didn't have any of those things, but she was still able to know what the kids were up to. 
be it maybe because Isabella was like the kids it's just like damn they're thinking stuff that I used to think of like when I was a kid but I don't know I, I, I don't want to justify how Isabella figured out what the kids were up to and easily was able to deduce it and fix it and, and, and nail it you know but then you have all these scientists and all these people and they, they can they can do that okay and now I feel like the 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 icing would be uh, <laughs> would would be uh, Norman slaughtering the demon village, and the show is really playing it by the cheek of trying to make you feel sympathetic for demons, the same demons that would have easily murdered and slaughtered the kid characters if they would have came to their village, you know. So, what's the problem here, you know? So you want us to sympathize with a culture, a species, that would go and murder another one, you know? Uh, I, I obviously will have to choose, not necessarily choose a side, but choose the one that makes the most sense, right? Because... I would pick the human side, right? Because I'm a human. I feel like the biggest twist would have to be that demons are humans to then correlate more emotion to the kid characters and the demons and humans because then you can suggest, hey, we're all the same, you know? There shouldn't be two worlds. There shouldn't be one world, you know? I mean, you know, one one world as in all unison, but I I don't know. I I think it was too sappy, you know what I'm saying? Of uh, the demon town village getting destroyed and and all of a sudden they're like, oh my baby, oh will someone think of the children? Oh my baby, like wow, you know, like wow. We haven't really spent enough time with the demons to understand who who they are. Heck, we don't even know. Um, the we we still don't know the levels of demons. You know, there's irrational ones. There's like, they're like you. heck, I don't know. I don't know if this is the same village where Emma was attacked. Let's say it is, because. I don't know. But we saw in the same village they were selling humans. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were selling the kids. You know, like they had them in little capsules and shit. Like, why is this show? I don't feel sorry for the demons. Call me a dick. But no, I don't. Nah. I don't understand why the demons have human names, you know, that's another thing that's weird, I, I know the argument would be that, hey, when, you know, when demons eat the humans, or human brains, they adapt that intelligence, that intellect, so there's that argument, but that doesn't mean I, I like it. <sighs> And I'm gonna finish this up with uh, five words. I'm trying to like count in fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this video with five words. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. Where the fuck is Isabella? <laughs> Thank you.